sa laptop or sa desktop natin. So, uh, click natin ang Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Open natin. So, open. So, ayan. So, uh, naka-open na yung window ng Google Chrome. So, hanapin natin ang uh, Google Scholar. So, type natin ang Google Scholar. Ayan. So, ayan. Google Scholar. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell para updated ka sa mga bagong uploads. Andito na tayo sa Google Scholar. So, i-type natin yung topic na gusto nating i-search. So, sa akin, bullying. So, i-type natin ang bullying. So, lumabas na yung bullying in schools. So, click natin, bullying in schools. So, ayan, lumabas na yung mga related articles regarding bullying. So, marami yan. Ayan. So, sa bandang gilid nito, sa bandang gilid is mayroong sort, sort by date. Pwede ring sort by relevance. Ayan. So, sa akin okay na to. Nakasort by relevance na ito. And then, pwede natin i-custom range. Kasi nga sa research, di ba, uh, minsan or mostly sa mga professors or teacher natin is 5 years backward. So, say for example, uh, 2015 and then 2020. So, 2015, then up to 2020, then search. So, custom range yan. Ayan. So, yung mga articles na lumabas is from 2015 to 2020. So, yung 2014 na article, hindi nakasali dito. Or 2005 or 2008. So, 2015 to 2020 lang talaga. Ayan. Bullying in schools, click natin. So, ayan. Lumabas na yung PDF ng bullying in schools. Ayan. So, eto na yung PDF niya. So, maghanap tayo ng mga information. So, scroll down tayo about bullying. Information about bullying na pwede natin gamitin sa research natin. Isa site natin siya. So, halimbawa, for example, this one, ayan, i-highlight natin. Ayan. So, bullying is widespread and perhaps the most underreported safety problem on American school campuses. Contrary to popular belief, bullying occurs more often at school than on the way to and from there. Once thought, thought of as simply a rite of passage or relatively harmless behavior that helps build young people's character. Bullying is now known to have long-lasting harmful effects for both victim and the bully. So, ito, pwede natin gamitin sa research natin sa international. And then, uh, paraphrase and correct citation. So, ganun. Tapos, uh, so, I I speaking of citation, ito, kung mapapansin mo, my star, my quotation mark, my related articles, all 24 versions. So, dito sa article, so click natin yung quotation mark. Click natin yan, quotation mark. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin mo, lumabas na yung uh, different uh, way of citations sa reference natin. Ayan. So, pwedeng MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard, Vancouver. Usually, common naman uh, common talaga is ang APA. So, uh, click natin to. And then, click natin ang APA. Copy. And then, punta tayo sa reference. Ayan. Then, paste. Ayan. So, bravo. Meron na tayong APA na reference. In APA form. Ayan. Most common uh, reference. Kung nakatulong, nagustuhan o na-appreciate mo ang video ito, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell 
para updated ka sa mga bagong uploads. Thank you for watching!